Guys, the Big Losi is about to get some mods. Million weight in the center diff, 18 tooth pinion gear, and a Radio Link RC6 GS radio. Take a look. I've taken the top off of this by taking these bolts out right here just to give me plenty of room to work. Got to take off the ESC. I'm going to take off this top plate. And then I've got to get underneath to get to this center diff. That is one serious center diff. <laughs> that thing is giant. Wow, no wonder this thing needs a bigger pinion gear. This center diff is huge. Just as a reference, this is a 540 motor. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. I mean, cow. That is awesome. So, yeah. Now, let's see if we can break this thing apart. There we go. Ooh, look at the beef. Wow. That's going to take a lot of cleanup. Gentle. All right, let's see if I can one hand <laughs> the ring gear side ah that was even easier Ooh. that's some awesomeness right there and you're nice and gentle literally this thing has two runs on it All right, now I get to push the gears out, clean this out, and then we get to scoop in some million weight. And at this point, I just simply have a lot of cleanup. I'm not gonna, you know, really go crazy with it, cleaning it up, because this million weight should be pretty darn thick. And as you can see, that right there is already coming out of the gears. So this, I'm not sure what the weight diff oil is in this, but it's about to get a lot thicker. Okay, I've got it cleaned out enough. I mean, it's not completely cleaned out, but it's good enough for that million weight. It should be able to get the job done. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Woo. I don't want to get it in the screw holes. I just want to... Get it as best I can down into the gears. Yeah, this stuff is pretty darn thick. I almost decided to uh, swap in and just do some uh, more of those earplugs. That's uh, pretty <laughs> uh, one of the ways to make sure you got it filled with something that thick is to so I can do this by hand here. Just kind of work it down into the gears. And the other best way to do this, believe it or not, is to have some patience and just let the thing sit overnight. It will actually go down in there. It just takes a little time. Okay, after about 15 minutes, it is in there pretty well. I, mean, I can still see a few air bubbles, but that's plenty good enough.
Now, if you're thinking it's like totally locked up because it's got the million weight, not really. Not really at all. I may end up going to earplugs in this thing. But that should work a lot better at getting power to that back end. It was just losing so much. This thing was getting really hot, which is probably why they made it out of aluminum. They kind of knew the oil was too thin. So now it's time to put this monster back into here. I've already got the pinion gear off. The stock pinion gear is actually a 13 tooth. You can see the top one right here. So this is the 18 tooth right here. So that should give me a nice boost in speed. Okay, so that's all in. Everything is flowing nice and smooth. Time to loosen these two bolts here and the one on the bottom, and I can move the motor out, and then I can get this big old pinion gear on. When it comes to these really large pinion gears, sometimes I put a little bit of thread locker, this is just a medium, on the actual motor shaft itself. If you do that, make sure the motor is not standing up because you don't want that to go back into the bearing and cause other issues but this can really keep the pinion gear where it's supposed to be. It's powered up. As you can see, the R7FG receiver right there. Now, it's got a uh, voltage telemetry to it, to their uh, transmitter, and but it's only good to 6S. I wish it was good to 8S. It'll read 8S, but you know it's kind of iffy on that. So, and this is a lot of vehicle. You really don't want this thing to just crazy go out of control. So I've got this set up right here on the 4S, that's the ground side of the ESC. Now with that, as you can see, you can actually read the battery voltage of that battery. So pretty much, you just read that one and, eh, pretty good. You'll know where you're at as far as, you know, overall voltage goes. Now, this is gonna be horrible. Woo, I don't think it's gonna be any quieter. <laughs> Oh, but check out the steering. Steering should be a lot better. It also has a gyro on it and turn it up on the transmitter. So yeah, got all kinds of features on this thing. Okay guys, it is ready for the body and the tires. I've got the wire kind of zip tied up to keep it out of the gear. Really don't want any shorts. So yeah, about to take this thing outside. We're out at the soft area. I just ran the UDR out here and it is going to be a complete disaster. And it's just a lot of cleanup to do. Let's go ahead and give this thing some throttle and see what it does. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's transferring power. this wind is Okay, now this thing's got the speed. Look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Heck yeah, now it's performing like it should. Beautiful. Well, I gotta get over here. Get you guys some slow mo across this stuff. This is a freshly cleared lot and it is super, super soft. Wow, this thing is absolutely performing great. Can still use a little more steering. But you know, it's got the speed that you want, which is awesome. Look at how soft this area is. Look at the footprints. I want to 
gonna show you guys. I'm gonna see if you can get it without the light here. Uh, still looking at the battery voltage at 15.5 volts. So that means we're still good to go. I'm gonna put this into slow-mo because this could be good. Had a little bit of a hesitation on the start right there. Oh, oh that's what it is. These 5,000 milliamp batteries are already kicking the bucket. They are not lasting long. You can watch this right here. See how it went to low power? So yeah, I gotta get some bigger batteries for this guy if I want some longer run time. That was the uh, reason for the uh, light butter. But wow, does this thing perform good. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up before I puff these batteries. Golly, just look at how soft this is. Just a simple little pass, look at that. <laughs> Get on back before it gets cut off and then I gotta carry this thing. We don't like doing that. That was a short run, but let's just see. Okay, not bad on that. Let's check the batteries. About 120 on the batteries at the most. Yeah, see, it's running really good. All right, let's check that center diff. Okay, so we're up to about 123, 124 maybe. Yeah, right there. So I like what I've got in the, in the center diff, but I could actually see it being a little bit thicker. So, oh yeah, that 18 tooth made a world of difference along with the million weight in the center diff. I can actually see me going a little bit thicker on that center diff, but for right now, we're just gonna leave that be. The 18 tooth woke this thing up. Uh, the temperatures were good. I mean, it was kind of a short ride. The 5,000 milliamp turn energies really don't last a whole heck of a long time in this size of a vehicle. So I may have to run those uh, 7,200 milliamp power hobby 4S's. Those got a little bit more to them and should make this thing last longer than, what, about seven minutes at most? That's about what I got out of it before they started just kind of dropping on off there. But anyway, guys, um, I'll put a link in the description for this Losi DBX LE 2.0. I'm also going to put a link to the pinion gear and all that stuff in the description. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, Walmart, uh, Red Cat, there are links down there. Use those links to check out with whatever you've got in your cart on those sites. And every little bit helps because it gives a little bit of a commission. Guys, hopefully you liked the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Use those links. And thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members? Get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.